is another match of the Grizzly Wing Presents Double Kill Tournament. Hosted by Grizzly Wing, sponsored by Carbon Games, organized by RUY, Bracket N, MG Swag versus The King's Wrath. On the game, on the teams right here, we have on the blue colored team, the Big Boss. The Big Boss spot in that awesome looking Medic Osprey. And saying we are ready for the funds. Absolutely, we are all ready for the funds. MG Solid Snake in the Steampunk Warhog is his teammate. As you see, they are actually, this is going to be a fantastic change from the last game, guys. They're going for the bottom. Meanwhile, at the same time, on the other side, Sky Artillery uh, in that Gothic Warthog. Uh, they're pretty much just trying to fortify, it looks like, this downward base right here. They've got a couple of mortars over here. So uh, it looks like, guys, that both, unlike the last game, this game, it appears, based on the, what people are doing, that they were going to be completely pushing on the bottom. However, at the last moment here, Big Boss does bring up a couple of Geminis up here to the top. So this is fantastic play from the blue color team because they are actually splitting and dividing, thereby giving themselves a double opportunity where if one of their pushes does not succeed, their other push may. So uh, great, great strategy play. Um, on the blue color team here, MG Solid Snake really pushing hard in on this bottom outpost. Since uh, one of the more recent patches, as you guys know now, these neutral outposts are being uh, guarded and protected no longer by low level creeps, but they're actually being protected by brutes. So it's much, much harder now to push in onto these uh, neutral outposts, uh, really requiring a lot of time, devotion, and resources. But uh, however, fantastic play here by the big boss. Bringing in some flavor, flamers completely neutralizes this middle outpost right here and has really put the green team uh, on the defensive very, very early. Not where they want to be this early in the game. Great, great move. And they've got flamers coming down here trying to neutralize this outpost as well. Uh, they just, blue is just going everywhere. They're trying to go up. They're trying to go down. They're trying to go across. There is no direction that they don't want to go. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, Sky Artillery Spectre 1 kind of cleaning up the mess here a little bit. Uh, you know, putting everything back together, sorting everything out. They've got recontrol of this outpost, but unfortunately they had to spend so much time and so much resources just trying to regain what was originally theirs. It has given the blue team all the time they needed to move in on this power station and this bottom outpost at the same time. They do have a unicap lead. 71 to 62 not as significant of a lead as the last game but still they do have a few more units lead however this game as we can see there is just a lot of death and mayhem and destruction on here so uh it's gonna take a while before anybody even gets anywhere near uh the unit cap but this this is guys hopefully uh you're really enjoying this is a great game so far a lot of action that's going on sky artillery with two sams Brings it all the way in at the main outpost, drops them off, but since they are SAMs, they do not have the ability of co uh, command or control, so they instantly walk away, leaving Sky Artillery completely by himself, and the big boss responds in a great way. He drops down a couple of flackers, all that it needs to take that Warthog out. So for those of you that say, yeah, you know, Warthogs are unstoppable, hey, you just saw right there, level 3 Warthog didn't stand much of a chance against just a few flackers. Big Bloss and MG Solid Snake, as we can see, fantastic teamwork between these guys. Th th between these guys, and just pointing out here for those of you that are watching, that are planning on participating, um, you can be the best player in the world, but if you don't coordinate with your teammate, uh, there's no way you're going to be able to come out on top. That's what is being shown right here between these two guys. These two guys are coordinating fantastic. They're there together helping each other when they need to be, and then they're splitting apart, uh, dividing Green's ability to respond at any ways. Uh, as you can see, it's really unfortunate for the Green team, but they are basically completely just on nothing but just uh, response right now. Uh, they're just having to react to everything that Blue is doing, and it's clear that Blue is pretty much dictating where every ounce of the action is going to occur in this game. And Spectra just gets out Solid Snake before he dies. Really, really close there before he made it back, but uh, Spectra got in that shot in time. Great, great, and very important kill. 
They really, the green team needs to alleviate some of this pressure. However, taking a look, guys, Blue's got complete top lane under really good solid control. And they also have the blue team, uh, the, the bottom lane. God, let's try saying that again. The bottom lane completely under control, too. Uh, they've really pushed Green back to really their main base. That one second outpost, which most likely, by the work of Big Boss here, using all his different units, the flackers, the tanks, the artillery, uh, this is going to turn into a dominating session very, very soon. Green team trying to do what they can to hold on to this outpost. It's just though that there's so much that blue has coming in here, guys. Sky Artillery barely gets out of there. No one's there to chase him down on time. He will get out of there alive. He has a single artillery, but right now um, we are. There it is, guys. There is the dominating. 30 seconds left for the imminent danger before we start going into a... Uh, that credit reduction and now with one of the most recent patches uh, for those of you that haven't realized uh, when you hit into that dominating phase your main base now starts to take damage as well taking a look at this uh, I, I, I unfortunately I don't really see any way that green can pull out of this uh, we're talking 55 units on the field to 8 we're talking about that is now the dominating stage. Warning, your enemy has total map control and your fortress is taking damage. Capture any outpost to survive. So this, for those of you that were wondering, you know, what happened to overtime damage, this is now how overtime damage is done. It's through a dominating stage. Uh, once your opponent owns all spots on your map, uh, you do start taking damage to the main base. I'm trying to find a way to uh, spin this around, guys. I don't see much of... Uh, I mean, I, I, I feel really bad for Sky Artillery and Spectre. They're both uh, really great players. Uh, but I just honestly don't really see how they can pull out of this one. Uh, it's just... There's just too much that they have. The big boss and MG Solid Snake. Fantastic play. Fantastic coordination. Uh, they even dropped... <laughs> Oh my gosh, they actually dropped their tech pod right in front of the main base itself. Why they dropped the tech pod there, I have no idea why. But that was just hilarious. There you go, guys. That is the end of the game. GG. Very, very well played there uh, by the blue team. Fantastic play, fantastic coordination, uh, fantastic teamwork. And that, guys, is... Game N of the round of 32 of the Air Mech Double Kill Tournament.